What's up guys and welcome back to Minecraft on the, I'm going to call it the Vintage Beef, uh, Vintage Craft server, because I think that's what we're going to go with by now. The, the, this server could be named by the time this video comes out, but it looks like Vintage Craft is the number one name in the, uh, in the, vote, in the voting thing that's going on with this, with this server. Hey, someone slept for me, thank you. Anyway, guys, welcome back. This is Vintage Beef's Patreon server, and as you can see down there below me, so many people on this server, so many fans of Vintage Beef that are on here building like mad. This place is crazy, and I love it. I love it so much. There's so many different people on here, so many builds on here. Uh, and it seems like the further away from, I know I mentioned this, the further away from spawn that you go, you still run into people. People are still building several blocks away from spawn. It's crazy. It's crazy, guys. And I am up here on the front doorstep of my next door neighbor, Mr. What's his name? Mr. Stiller? I haven't met Stiller yet, but Stiller has a pretty cool biodome up here. And as you can see down there below me, is a pretty cool view of the entire um, spawn area. This is this is crazy. This is so crazy. I love it. I love it so much. And, it, and let me show you this. Right down there is my house. Right down there. It's uh, I've I've decided to go with, and I think I mentioned this before, and in, in the previous episode, it's going to be a Japanese style home. I think they're called tatami. Japanese tatami homes. Let me get down here and show you. Anyway, I've been working on it a little bit and I wanted to do, excuse me, did did it. Anyway, I've been working on it a little bit and I wanted to do a little bit more on it today. Um, try to finish the roof of it at least, uh, or, or maybe finish the whole exterior of it if I have time. So you can see I have added a walkway, I have added some trees, some little trees. Um, my next door neighbor here. Uh, whose name is XXPaz223XX. He has uh, let me share this pond with him. This was his little, little pond, and I told him I would fix it up and if, you know maybe see if he likes it or not. Uh, so what I've done is I've added a little bit of... What's up, Tasty Bacon Z? <laughs> anyway, I've added a little bit of a dark... Um, what do you call it? Sorry. Dark terracotta down to the bottom there and a few spots of the red sand just you know just for looks I wish there was some way that I could, add, I could add goldfish to it because that would just top it off anyway I've added a couple of benches over here with the, uh, the dark oak planks and we get over here uh, here it is uh, it's called a tatami tatami home tatami is a Japanese style architecture uh, a lot of homes are built in the tatami style. So this is our tatami home. Uh, here's our walkway. Of course, uh, like, like I mentioned, I added trees, and I ran out of <laughs> I ran out of spruce leaves, so I added oak leaves right there. I, I don't know if that looks bad or not. I kind of want it all to be spruce leaves, but oh, sorry, Paz, I'm walking all of your stuff here. But uh, I don't know. I might leave that. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I'll probably will change it later. But anyway. Let's get up here and I'll show you this. This parrot right here has been ling has been lingering around my house uh, ever since I got here. I don't know who it belongs to. I'm not sure if that's Stiller's parrot or if somebody else uh, tamed that parrot and left him here. What's up? Uh, but anyway, <laughs> he was sitting right over here and I moved him to here and then I decided, you know what, I want to have a parrot in the tree. And whoever's parrot it is, they can come claim him later. I don't know. But uh, so anyway, what I did is I took some uh, some trap doors and I made a bridge across to that branch right there and I pushed him onto the branch. So he's just going to sit there until someone comes and claims him. <laughs> I kind of like how he looks right there. But anyway, I, ha I have my own parrot down here. I don't know if I've shown that to you or not. But uh, we have a parrot here. And we have not named our parrot yet. And we have a cat. Tuxedo black and white cat. Oh, we also have a nether wart farm going right here. Let me go ahead and replant some of this stuff. And let's see. Yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and replant this stuff. 
and I don't know if I have enough to cover the whole thing. Do I? Yeah, I do. Awesome. So I've, I've covered that. Okay, and my chicken farm. Pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, so that's what I have so far on the house. Let me go get out here and show you what I did with the roof. So I did a little bit of research on tatami style, uh, the Japanese tatami style homes, and the roofs are really shallow. And then a lot of them have a second. I'm not even gonna touch that a lot of them have a second floor which I'm gonna put maybe a second or third floor on mine because I want it to be a little bit taller than that right there I don't want it to be a single level I want it to be a little bit taller so I'm gonna work on that add one or two more floors to that and then have a Japanese style roof uh, on the top of it and uh, I've never actually built a Japanese style roof but I've looked at some pictures of Japanese architecture and I think I can do that it looks pretty it looks pretty simple to build, I think. I'm gonna give my, I'm gonna give it a try, uh, try my hand at it. But um, let's go ahead and give that back to Paz. I, I think that guy must have accidentally. Let's go ahead and re replant that. Anyway, I'm going to work on my house a little bit, and sorry, <laughs> I'm gonna fix that for Paz here, and uh. And then I'll come back to you once I have finished that roof and I got so I have something else that I want to show you. Something that is really, really cool. Something that I found on this server that's pretty far away from here. But um, but yeah, I'm going to work on the, on the roof of this house. I might or might not get it done depending on how much time I have left. Uh, we're going to go take a look at something else I have to show you. Now the Japanese tatami style houses have a sort of a... Uh, shallow roof so I use the uh, the dark oak um, slabs like that right there to make the roof up to here now this right here I'm gonna extend the uh, the white wool on up to our second floor right here and then I'm gonna put another shallow roof on that if I can and then extend it up a, a third uh, excuse me extend it up a third story and um, then put the Japanese style uh, slanted roof on the top of that. So that's going to take a little bit of time. So I'm going to go ahead and work on that and I will come right back to you as soon as I have something to show you. I'll see you there. Okay guys, I have run out of materials and I'm gonna have to go get some more stuff. But look, it's coming along really, really well. I'm loving how that's turning out. It's looking more and more Japanese and I love that. <laughs> I absolutely love that. But I've gotta go get some more white wool and some more dark oak. And I kinda wanna show you where that is because it kinda fits in with where I want to take you uh, later in this video. Okay, first before we do that, I want to go make a purchase. Oh, I already have my diamonds on me. I want to go make a purchase because I have something that I want to do while we're over there. Uh, I need to go purchase uh, either some slime balls or some leads. Um, and I think there is a slime ball shop over here somewhere. It either, either sells slime balls or they sell leads, one or the other. Um, Slime balls will be fine. I can make my own leads, but I've got to find where this shop is. This is not it right here. But what is this? Leather, empower, seduce, create. Get yours today. <laughs> this is a leather fashion shop. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I've never seen one of these before. <laughs> and 
what do we have over here? There's so many shops here, guys. So many. I'll, I'll, I'll take you on a little bit of a look around. Um, beef for raw beef or two cooked for one iron. And payment box. Complimentary coffee. <laughs> That's pretty cool. There is a dock side over here that has a, just a row of different shops. There's one I have not been to yet. What is this? A quartz shop. Uh, okay. Oh, nice. They have glowstone over here. Oh, I guess they're out. Anyway, we'll have to come back over here whenever we need some uh, quartz or glowstone or, or something like that whenever they have some in stock. But let's see if we can find our slime shop. Ah, there it is. I see it, guys. See the big uh, pixelated uh, slime ball sticking up over there? That's the slime shop. So let's get over here and check it out. Hopefully they have some in stock. They did earlier when I came over here. But I didn't have my diamonds with me when I came over here. So let's see what they have. Uh, this is Niku's Slime Emporium. <laughs> Very cool. Alright, we have eight slime for one diamond. And... Okay. Eight slime for one diamond. We'll take eight of them. Go ahead and set our payment right there. There we go. Alright guys, we have slime. Now let's go get some string and make a lead. Let's see, this is the Lost and Foundry Kiss My Axe Low on Stock. Okay, well, let's see what they have. Oh, a little bit of glitch there. Um, ten diamonds each. Ooh, that's a nice, ooh, that's a really nice sword. I would really love to have looting three. Ah, ten diamonds though, I only have seven now. Let's see, Depth Strider, don't really need that. Uh, Depth, Stri Depth Strider and Respiration, those are iron. And then eight diamonds, okay, out there. I would really love to have that sword, guys. But I'll have to come back for that. All right, let's get back over here. I wonder if he would take seven diamonds for that. Let me go over here and see if I can bargain with Mr. Kiss My Axe. Because <laughs> I really want that sword. Really, really, really. <laughs> Kiss My Axe, I want to bargain with you. Let's see if he comes back over here. All right, we have us a diamond looting three sword. Did a little bit of bargaining with Kiss Max. He seems like a nice guy. So this is really cool. I really, really like this sword. And I think that was a pretty good deal for seven diamonds. Not bad at all. So let's get back over here and set up what we need to go on our journey. So we have our slime blocks and we have our looting sword now. So let's uh, let's grab some string. I hope that's not all the string that I have. One, two, three. no, I need one more. Just one more string. Mm. Oh well, string's not that hard to find. We will find it. Let me go ahead and put this 
iron sword away and go ahead and throw that axe in there that's no good anymore throw that in there go ahead and take the string and the slime blocks with us because we'll find some more string on the way and keep that cobble we're gonna need that keep the water bucket here and throw that shovel down there and yeah I think that's good all right so let's uh, let's travel okay guys here we go we are off had to go go back and grab my bed I forgot about that but anyway we have to travel in this direction and we're gonna put our boat in the water right about here and travel off in that direction over there so let me go ahead and put this in the water and here we go we are off Okay, it looks like we're gonna have to get out of the boat right here and travel on foot. <laughs> I didn't know I could dance in my boat. <laughs> anyway, guys, let me grab this, and we will be on our way on foot here. From up here, the world seems small. We can This is so cool. I love how this goes through, through the forest and through the trees and everything. Nice. Really nice. We meant to be in the great outdoors. Check out these trees, guys. <laughs> these are oak trees. <laughs> Nothing like the vanilla Minecraft trees that you're used to. I love these so much more. This is really cool. This is really, really cool. Anyway, guys, let's keep going. Sometimes you need to go and take a step back. Okay, guys, we're getting really, really close now. Right over here is what I want to show you. This right here is so cool to me. Oh, look at the parrot. Neat. This right here, let me get over here. <laughs> As you can see off in the distance, these little black dots there, there, there. Those are markers. That, folks, is marking our new plot. <laughs> we have a snow biome actually an, a snowy island out here all to ourselves and actually there's we have a neighbor over there and we have neighbors sort of all around us but this right here this is called husky island and this is our this is going to be our new uh our new home right here yeah so I came out here and I found this and I thought this is the coolest thing right here. Check out the trees. The trees are awesome. The snow is awesome. Guys, this is, look at this huge ravine right here. Wow, don't want to fall in that. But uh, lots of mining to do over here. And we have a river that goes all the way around us. The, the, <laughs> the rabbits are even cool. Look at that. The black and white rabbits and the solid white rabbits. Very cool. And then we have a frozen river that goes all the way around us. And uh, <laughs> actually, I parked my boat over there, but I wanted to show you guys this is so much fun putting a boat on this river and traveling because you go so fast. It's really cool. And there's another cave right there. So anyway, guys, we have a snowy island over here. This is where I'm going to start building pretty soon uh, as, as soon as I finish my house over there at spawn we will start building on this house over here and I have some ideas that I want to uh, to incorporate into this build over here but uh, yeah see somebody has claimed this island over here already this is snowy peninsula claimed by Ta Tashina <laughs> Very cool. And then there's somebody building over there as well. But this one right here is ours. And the reason why I wanted to come over here 
is because over in that area over there is loads I mean loads of sheep and somebody's already claimed that area there but they're not building over here yet and the sheep are still running wild over there so while they are running wild we're gonna go over here and we're gonna clip some wool actually I last time I was over here I pulled some of those sheep over to my island I don't know if they stayed or not but we're gonna be taking some wool so anyway let's get out our shears got them right here go ahead and eat something really quick and I will show you guys how many sheep are over here That's a lot of sheep, and yeah, I realized some of those might have been duplicates because I circled back around and I, and I sheared off some sheep in the same area that I, that I already was. But anyway, this still, that's a lot of sheep in this area right here. And that's why I wanted to come over here for wool, is to grab as much wool over here as I could because I knew there was a lot over here. And I wanted to show you guys our island over there, Husky Island. So. Anyway guys, that does it for me today. I have done a lot in this episode, building on my house some more, and I'm gonna keep working on that and uh, have more to show you when we come back. And uh, then we have our island over there behind us. That is going to be a fun build. And uh, I'm gonna have a whole lot of fun with that. But uh, anyway guys, until next time guys, I really, really, really appreciate your support very, very much. And uh, if you don't mind, hit that like button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.